Hello lovely families, I hope you have all had an amazing summer. We certainly can't complain about the weather, particularly last weekend. But aside from some of the lovely weather we've had, I hope that you all feel that this year's summer period has a bit, been a bit more normal compared to the last couple of years we have had. So I just wanted to do a quick check-in, one more sleep and all the boys and girls will be back in our care as of tomorrow. Apart from our new primary ones who are starting a little bit later in the morning just to allow um, the parents to come and take pictures and things, all of the boys and girls are back nine until three. So we're no longer doing stagger starts, pickups. We are back to life as we knew it. With that in mind, there are some changes to entry points. So the primary ones and primary twos are going to go right back round to the other side of the building, right round past the nursery, where they used to line up before we had to consider um, COVID risk assessment implications. So for our families who have boys and girls further up the school, we're back to the infant playground. But if you are a new family who has joined us over the period of time where we've had restrictions, that is the old entry point for the, um, the wee ones. And we're going to go back to that because that will be their playground. So primary one and primary two, rounds past the nursery. We'll be out in the morning myself and Caroline and um, any spare bodies that I have will be out marshalling in the morning. But that's your pick up and drop off point. Primary three, primary four, five and primary five. So those three classes, you will line up in front of the nursery. And you will come in, the, boy, the boys and girls will know, ask your kids, the boys' toilet doors. And primary six and seven will line up at the entry point next to the soft play. But we'll be out in the morning just giving everybody a hand. Um, what we're not going to do this year is use the entry point round by the blossom tree where the children were being supervised and round at the back of the cars. Um, we're going to take that away and we're going to go back to pre-COVID life. I'm so excited about it. So just a little flag up. Parents are welcome in the playground in the morning. Um, I'm not dismissing that COVID is very much still part of our lives, but we're learning to live with it. And over the summer period, hopefully your lives have been much more like how they used to be before we had to live with all the restrictions. So I am still cautious. Um, and I hope that people will be practical, but certainly in terms of access to the school, access to the building and what we can and cannot do at the moment, uh, we're going to go back to life as we knew it. I think I'm going to get a t-shirt or something. I'm so excited about it. So you're welcome in the playground in the morning. Um, hopefully we can go back to I will stand my old post, so I'll no longer be around the corner. I will be in front of the huts if any parents want to catch me. And Caroline will be about at one set of the gates. So we'll go back to that thoroughfare in the morning that that's where we are if you need us. Um, just a reminder that P1 to P5 are now entitled to free school meals. So your child will get lunch um, as of tomorrow, but you are welcome to send along a packed lunch if they don't want to have free school meals, but meals are free up to primary five. This has been rolled out to primary six and seven, um, but we don't have the date for that yet. It will be soon, but certainly everybody up to P5 can get a free school lunch tomorrow if they wish to do so, and you'll be able to access, Kate McLean has already sent out menus, but also if you log on to the parent portal, you'll be able to see the menu in there. But don't be stuck. Give us a shout if you're stuck for anything. Um, in terms of life as we knew it, we are going to go back to our playground rotations. So the boys and girls will be timetable to play in the garden. Everybody will get a shot of the soft play. And we really are looking forward to the children being able to mix a little bit more. We did get a playground committee up and running last year who were fantastic 
But we were still restricted with whether or not children could mix and to have considerations round about that. So we are looking forward to kind of getting our Play Pals um, scheme up and running. But in the meantime, the children are all going to get wee shots of things. So hopefully that will be exciting for the boys and girls. Um, the staff have been working very hard for the last couple of days. Actually, they've been in over the holidays and zhuzhing their classrooms and making them gorgeous. Um, and the school is looking really, really lovely. We've taken away some of those one-way arrow systems and some of our posters. Again, I'm, I'm not saying that we're not considerate in terms of looking after one another and still being mindful of COVID. But probably now, actually, for the first time, we can talk about recovery and work with our families and look forward to a really, really positive year ahead. So once we get the boys and girls in, keep your eye on group call and Twitter over the next couple of days and we'll get some information out to you and then we'll get a family engagement calendar out and we'll just signpost what we are looking to do this year. I was going to say hopeful we're going to do, but actually I'm going to send out what we're going to offer in terms of opportunities for families to be back in and around the school and worst case scenario we can work backwards from that. So no plan B this year and maybe plan A. We're plan A ahead just now and just asking all of you to continue to support us and just apply common sense and consideration um, to the recovery process. But give us a shout if you need anything. We can't wait to see the boys and girls tomorrow. We have seen some at the window. Some people have been playing in the playground and we've had a wee chat. And yeah, we're very excited and motivated for the year ahead and all feeling the benefit of having been able to have a summer that wasn't restricted so that we can see our friends and our family and our, your pots are filled then. So I hope you all feel the same and I'm looking forward to seeing everyone.